So one of the challenges here in places like Martha's Vineyard is the fact that a lot of the land is privately held, including coastal access. So getting to the beach is hard, oftentimes through private property or through gates such as this, and the owners can just choose to um, keep everybody off, and then folks can't easily get to the seaside. So, access is restricted, but in some places we do have a lot of people still coming through, and so people have put in uh, uh, guide rails and or boardwalks that we just walked over, and that clearly guides people's access to the particular spots and acts to, to at least to some extent, keep them off the dune vegetation here um, and keep the dunes more stabilized. So people aren't cutting their own paths constantly through to get to beach access here, in this case, on Martha's Vineyard. So we're out here on Martha's Vineyard and a nice example of a slightly sandy beach that has a lot of cobble. We come back in, we have a good amount of beach grass, a lot of um, stabilizing action here, so this, these dunes aren't moving very much. Big storm, we might see some carve outs of the vegetation, but basically if we go up here, what we see is uh, the roots are relatively shallow, the rhizomes are relatively shallow, but they're enough to hold this sand in place. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna stabilize the bank, stabilize the, the dune here, and create this, this four dune area by the beach, and then drop down and then we have this really cool back, back dune community with completely different suite of species. And these guys are even that much more stable and that much um, less variable from year to year. So we get more woody type vegetation, more shrubby type vegetation, still heavily influenced by the salt, but yet you start to see things like pines and other things coming in. And if we go a little bit farther inland, we're gonna get out of the dune community into the more traditional terrestrial community. So dunes are cool communities here and everywhere.